LR, the liberal redneck here, coming to you from a country that has had a belly full of religion in general, and particularly the extreme religious right, inserting themselves into purely secular matters like government and education. To a non-believer like myself, it seems that religion has become a sanctuary for pedophiles. Not every religious leader falls into this category, of course. But hardly a day goes by without a priest, preacher, or pastor being charged with sexually abusing children. The lawyers for Cardinal Pell, until recently the third most powerful official in the Vatican and a close advisor to Pope Francis, in seeking leniency for their client, described the rape by the cardinal of two choir boys as, quote, no more than a plain vanilla sexual penetration case where the child is not actively participating, end quote. Anally raping a child against their will is in no way plain vanilla. The first requirement for plain vanilla is consenting adults. To describe it as such is an example of complete moral failure. Televangelist Pat Robertson, when interviewing Trump, said that the previous night God told him there would be a Trump Tower in heaven. That must have made God blow his coffee through his nose. Baptist preacher Robert Jeffress declared that Christians who support Trump are morally and spiritually superior to those who do not. I guess that means God endorses a lying, cheating, whoremongering fornicator as his emissary on earth, according to Jeffress, who probably gets a little witty every time he says Trump's name. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said it was possible that God sent Trump to save the Israelis from Iran. Not to be outdone, another good Christian, Mike Lindell, also known as the Pillow Man, declared that God chose Trump to lead our nation. This is the first time I remember God taking such an active interest in politics. Up until now, he seemed perfectly content with his give unto Caesar that which is Caesar's and give unto God that which is God's. God has in no way indicated that Trump is his chosen Messiah. That has been done by the religious right because they love his racist attacks. He justifies the way they tend to treat anyone who does not go along with their perverted viewpoint. People see that their actions do not jive with standard Christian beliefs, and their numbers are shrinking rapidly. All I can say is, thank you, Jesus. You can reach me at the liberal redneck at gmail.com. You can visit live with me, the pagan goddess and the progressive Christian, on our weekly wrap-up every Friday at noon central on blogtalkradio.com forward slash the liberal redneck.